everybody and their freaking mom. I'm kind of excited to go crabbing for the first day. It was the very first morning we were setting crab pots. We already have the boat loaded, the trailer and its new cage empty. She's a little boat for carrying 175, but when we don't have any of the other equipment on here, like the call box or anything like that, 175 is about the max we can do safely. We're off the start of 2023 crabbing season. So many questions. Will there be crabs? Did I make the right call by going? Will my rudder hold up? Will the boat sink? Is the motor gonna overheat? Raving to the neighbors. They're all excited to get some crabs. So far, it looks like the tachometer is working really well. Well, the weatherman lied again. It's supposed to blow northwest, and this is straight north. No west in this wind. Gotta be careful. I don't like it. Videos never ever do waves justice. There's no depth perception. Now we're in what's called a following sea. It's my least favorite kind of sea to run in besides a straight beam sea. A straight beam sea means it's coming to the side of the beam of the boat. But a following sea means that the waves are kind of rolling behind you and pushing you. In a boat with a bow as, as short as mine and as low as mine, my bow can get stuck in what's called the trough of the wave. You can see the bow's pretty low, kind of riding these swells. Problem is, see how it's splashing up there? We get stuck in a trough too big, all that water will roll right over the bow. I don't love this, I don't love this. First pots of the year, going overboard. Well, first load's overboard. Boy, I'm not sure how much weight this truck's rated for, but I am pretty sure this is far past its capacity. So it is the first day that we're supposed to haul gear here. The wind is blowing. I drove down to a spot in town where I can see out over the bay this morning and it seems to be all right right now. In the next four hours, it's really supposed to pick up badly. The gamble now is do I try to make a run for my furthest away gear? This may be the best weather window I have all week to get to it. Or do I play it safe, stick by home, and try to get the most done out of the time that I have? I'm kind of excited to go crabbing for the first day, but I'm also very worried about the weather. <laughs> we turned the windshield wiper on and uh, it fell off, so we'll just do it manually. I rolled the dice and made the long run. So far, it seems to be fine. We got about four hours before the weather's supposed to blow up. So we'll see what all we can get done. First pot of 2023. And it's empty. And no crap. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. First crab of 2023. Nice female. We got through the first row. Everything's working pretty good. We even caught a couple crabs. Typically, I wouldn't be this excited to have so few crabs in a row, but it's a first set, so we're just getting the smell of the paint off the pots. We gotta fish them through, uh, get some fresh bait in them. Hopefully next time we have a few more crabs. Catching a lot of fish, a lot of white perch this time of year, which is totally fine with me. We're gonna use them for bait. It's totally legal to use white perch as bait that we catch. Look at these nice, big, pretty, dark crabs. That is a beautiful crab right there. That's a nice large right there, probably six inch crab. That's a perfect size crab to catch a bunch of. We got a few, these are males. Tell because of the apron there. We got one female here. See our apron's different than the other ones. Pretty, pretty crabs. We got a toadfish, oyster cracker. I think that's a cool looking fish. Let him go. We have two soft crabs here. That's a really good sign. So up here, the first crabs we're gonna catch are gonna be the big crabs that buried up from the fall. And the first crabs to shed are gonna be these little crabs just like this. And once these shed, it's game on. They're gonna get hard and then the next size up's gonna shed. And that's gonna be our first run of crabs. Wind is starting to pick up a little bit, but we only got five rows left. The crabbing is not looking too hot. It's pretty bad even for a first set. Not getting me super pumped to go some more. Should've stayed in Florida. Something. Now it's a little bit of a risk because 
I have to modify my gear to try it. And there's a good chance either the tide will run so hard, the whole hawk will get sucked underwater, or boats are going to run over my line or my buoys, and I'll have to spend a bunch of time dragging a hook around hoping that I can find it again. It could be worth the risk. Just pulling nothing but empty pots gets expensive quick. So I'm going to tie a couple extra shots of line onto my main line so that I can get a little deeper. Here goes nothing. We're either going to win big, fill the boat with crabs and make some money, or I just made a terrible mistake and we're going to spend a day dragging around trying to recover this gear. I hope it pays off. First day out crab, we caught a little seahorse. Water's super salty here. You only usually ever see them in the upper bay when the water's really salty. Let this little guy go. Something's got to change here. Definitely a disappointing first day. Just spending money to go to work at this rate. As for the wind, we got out just in time because it is starting to blow and get a little nasty out there. This is one perk of being the captain. It looks wet out there. Clean of the boat. Oh, looks cold too. It's nice in here. So I caught about 50 crabs out of 475 pots. That is pathetic. That is probably the worst first set I've ever had in nine years of crabbing. Yeah, just as I suspected, both hawks got run over by freaking boats over the weekend. Both buoys. Now I gotta drag with this dumbass hook to try to freaking find the stupid gear. What a dumb idea. So stupid, so stupid. I'll never do that again. That plan was a complete and utter disaster. That did not go well at all. I had caught no crabs. My line had like four different freaking fishing lures on it. What a mess. Look at all this. What are you people doing? Less than 20 foot of water, this is nuts. All day. They got drugged. One of my hawks got run over. The other one had a whole umbrella rig wrapped around it. I had to drag for it. it. Took us an hour to get that row in the boat. The whole boat's trash, we're covered in disgusting, rotten, nasty mud. It's just, I mean, what a mess. What a disaster. Complete and utter fail. I've never seen uh, fishing gear like this in my life. I mean, I, I literally have an entire crate. It's probably $1,000 worth of rock fishing gear. It's trophy season here in the Chesapeake. So everybody's trolling these big, crazy, stupid rock fish rigs and planer boards. And I had a row that was drugged like 150 yards. Freaking tuna rigs. Who was fishing for rockfish in the bay with these? I had one hawk that was sunk, flipped upside down. And I'm not even in that deep of water. It's like, what are you doing trolling 10 ounce lead heads in 15 foot of water? Crazy. I, I have never seen anything like it. It's really nice gear too. And I'm throwing it all in the freaking dumpster. <laughs>